In this video, I will show you how to use the WordPress public API to build a blog app in Flutter. WordPress is getting old now, but it is still used by 34.7% of the websites in the world, generally for blogging, and that's why we are building this blog app today. Let's start by creating a new Flutter project by running the command Flutter create. If you want to use the same photo architecture than mine, you can use this script that will generate that for you. Once that out of the way, head to the pubspec.yaml file and import these packages. Now head to the models folder and create the model for the posts. In the WordPress API documentation, you can find all the API endpoints and fields to use. After declaring all of your final variables, go to your class name and use this shortcode. To generate the constructor automatically. Use the factory constructor single post dot from JSON to take in the JSON data and generate the Dart class. Now that we have a single post model, we can begin acquiring the data from the REST API. Start by declaring a future list of single post. Then in the init state, give it the value of the get posts future. The get post future awaits for the HTTP package that calls the base URL using a GET request. For simplicity purposes, the base URL is set to the post endpoint of the public WordPress API. However, you can refer to the documentation for other endpoints. Once the HTTP GET future returns data, use the compute method by giving it the past posts future as a callback and the response data as a message. The compute method is used to spawn an isolate and run the parsing function in it. This way, the UI doesn't freeze when you parse large JSON data. The parse posts function itself is pretty simple. It takes the response body as an argument and returns a list of posts. Using a future builder, you can track the future state and update the UI accordingly. While there is no data, it returns a central progress indicator. Then, if there is data, it returns the content of the home screen. Otherwise, if there is an error, you can return an error message or a retry button. As you can see, the result is pretty nice. The app starts with a progress indicator, then all of the posts are shown. When you click on a post, the full content is rendered. And using the URL launcher package, when you click on a link, it opens the browser. If you want to add even more features, you can download the full source code from the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. If you prefer reading, then check out my website and a huge thanks to those who support me by buying coffees at the link in the description. See you next time with another great tutorial.